Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, March the 25th. It's the third week in Lent and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 136, and Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. Now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. You are God, a great ruler over all the gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. You made the sea, it belongs to you. The dry land too, it was formed by your hands. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Psalm 136, and please recite it with me. O oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, God's mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for God's mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Most High of the high, for God's mercy endures forever. Who alone does great wonders, for God's mercy endures forever. Whose wisdom made the heavens, for God's mercy endures forever. Who stretched out the earth above the waters, for God's mercy endures forever. Who made great lights, for God's mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for God's mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for God's mercy endures forever. Who smote Egypt in their firstborn, for God's mercy endures forever and brought out Israel from among them, for God's mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for God's mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea into parts, for God's mercy endures forever, and made Israel pass through the midst of it, for God's mercy endures forever. But threw Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for God's mercy endures forever. Who led the people through the wilderness? For God's mercy endures forever. Who smote great kings? For God's mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings? For God's mercy endures forever. Sihon, the king of the Amorites? For God's mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan? For God's mercy endures forever and gave their land for a heritage, for God's mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel, God's servant, for God's mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowly estate, for God's mercy endures forever, and has redeemed us from our enemies, for God's mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, for God's mercy endures forever, O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, for God's mercy endures forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 1, beginning at verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and he said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. 
The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Most High. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We stand in awe of the works of your hands and thank you for your everlasting love. May you ever protect us and deliver us from all enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord made the announcement to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O God, your grace into our hearts that we, to whom the incarnation of Jesus your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 